so you might have seen my earlier video about why electricians can't run any cable properly uh, they ran all the phone cables to that panel and then they ran all the data cables upstairs and as I said they necked the cables and who knows what else they did in this building when they made a mess unfortunately it's got a drywall ceiling so they couldn't go up and take a look but the first thing I did was check the drawings here uh, you can see where the triangles are those are those are dual data and telephone jack drops now the the unique challenge here there's four phone lines so I wanted to make sure each each plate on the wall had four phone lines hooked up to it and the way that I did that we started out by cleaning up all these wires the including the Bex block which uh, the phone company made a mess out of uh, there it is uh, zip tied so that the wires don't fall out and uh, then we've zip tied all the phone wires we've also toned them out so we know where each one goes and we've labeled each each telephone wire this way everything will be in order now upstairs pose an even more challenge because they ran this is where the patch panel is supposed to go and they ran all the data wire through the wall instead of down the ceiling so there's going to be a desk there so I had to I had to find something special and the, these are ports that were terminated by the electricians you can see they made quite a mess with the face plate uh, there's little holes in the drywall behind the behind the face plate so as I said what I, what I did was I toned out each line to figure out where it's going and then we terminated uh, we terminated each cat6 line as a single data drop to a cat6 jack and I terminated each uh, cat5e line onto two phone jacks so each phone jack can support two phone lines with two pairs each I mean one pair per phone line but two pairs per phone jack and that allows us to have four phone lines uh, at each wall plate and one ethernet port at each wall plate which is which is the best you can do in these circumstances the client want, did not go with voice over IP but they could certainly do that if they wanted to they're, they're using a four line telephone which uh, has two phone lines each phone line supporting two two lines so here I am terminating the jacks um, once the jacks were terminated they were all tested for continuity there's no point in testing for and certifying the cable because the electricians ran the cable and they did a terrible job. In this case, where I use the Comscope uh, 12 port mini patch panel CAT6, I picked it up from the Annexter warehouse the same day. Uh, and this, uh, it's only a few inches deep, so it fits very well on the wall, and, and they can put the, a table or a desk on top of it. Normally you have to order it in. It's got a bracket, a metal bracket that mounts to the wall. Uh, I found it to be a little bit loose. And uh, we use a Netgear 16 port uh, switch that's also wall mountable. It's a, a business grade switch. I don't, I, I'm not too happy with it because it's plastic but it, it, it's a pretty good switch. Patch panels are on the hundred and sixty dollars and the switch is around a hundred dollars uh, I use a zip it drywall anchors and then I, I use some bolts I added a third bolt because uh, I found the panel to be a little bit wobbly with just the two bolts and then so the Netgear switch basically just snaps into the bracket uh, the there was no air conditioning while I did this this was in late July when I did this installation and uh, 
by the time I was done it was around 1 in the morning and my pants were all sweaty so I mean there was no air conditioning whatsoever it is Canada but it does get hot here so the plug just just fits into place and uh, using the A termination here the, there's a sticker that shows the color code for the B termination so I just inserted the, the paper for A termination it comes with the with the patch panel it just uh, the colors go into a different order and that's a matter of terminating the wires I make sure to zip tie the cables to the to the panel when you're done so that they don't fall out and have quite a bit of slack which I folded up inside the panel and uh, then we patched everything in and there you go